Do you know how many work-related injuries occur in Australia each year? 1,000? 20,000? No. There were, in fact, 127,300 workplace-related injuries reported in 2010-2011 and 220 work-related deaths. And every single one is one too many. Work-related injury and illness were estimated to cost $60.6 .6 billion in the 2008-2009 financial year. This represents 4.8% of GDP. But what's worse is that the injury and fatality rates for the Australian construction industry are almost double those in Europe. The introduction of the harmonised workplace health and safety legislation has helped. But companies are only now starting to realise the implications of the new legislation for their business, including significantly increased legal exposure that directors now carry that includes large fines and even jail time. Getting people home safely is the most important job of all. Yet it can often be a secondary activity thought about after the work plans have been completed. And many people work in environments where risk is unpredictable and working safely requires informed planning and easy access to information in the field. But typically, this information is locked away in head office, in multiple systems that don't talk to each other, or worse, in dusty filing cabinets. It's this challenge that Field Tech has set out to address. So what if the systems that you need to assess risk, manage training, qualifications and procedures report incidents and plan projects were with you out in the field when you were actually doing the work. And you can use this information to form the basis of your project plan, undertake risk assessments and manage day-to-day -day operations. It would save hours of administrative work and provide assurance that your team and the general public were safe and the company complied with the law, which makes everyone happy. Field Tech is a game changer in ensuring people finish their work day safely in a controlled risk environment. Why not check it out for yourself at www.fieldtech.com.au Job done, all safe.